Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. What's the best explanation for moral laws? I think all of us uh, accept certain moral truths, and we get those from someplace. I mean, you have your own personal views on something. I've worked gangsters who had their own personal views on what was right and wrong that were very different than mine, very different than yours probably. And there are gangs, a bigger group, had a certain set of laws, and if you want to be part of that, you took on those, those laws. But we all live in a city that has certain laws, and we fall underneath that. So you, know, you could get your views from people, but that's, of course, we might disagree. You can get your views from groups or governments, but governments and groups disagree. But there are some laws that transcend all of us. They really aren't grounded in individuals or groups because they transcend individuals and groups. There are some things we disagree about and some things we agree all together. Even before there were people, we agreed probably that it was never okay to torture people for fun. You might have some sense of when it might be okay to torture people, I can't even imagine. But if you did, it was certainly never for fun. So if, if this rule was in place, it was in place, if this idea, this concept of morality was in place, if you believe in a Star Trek universe, that rule doesn't only apply to us as humans, it applies to every other race of aliens. It transcends not only the individual, the group, the nation, the planet, the species. Wow, where could such a transcendent objective moral law come from? What is the authority that transcends all of this that could provide for such things? It seems to me the best and most reasonable source grounding for those kinds of transcendent views is in a transcendent law giver, a transcendent source, who doesn't create these views willy-nilly. And he's not just uh, describing views that existed before him. He's the actual source of such truth because they're simply a reflection of his divine nature. If that's the case, I think we can properly ground objective transcendent moral values that we all agree exist, or most of us agree, especially when pushed to the, to the, to the example I just gave, yet we don't want to agree on how they can be grounded.